This episode of Strange Love brought to you by Treasure Licious. Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Hi, welcome to yet another episode of Strange Love. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. As always, we're joined by Mr. Chaos. Hello. And this time, for our special geeky, nerdy family episode of Strange Love, we're joined by my brother, Zythor. Hello. And his lovely, lovely partner, Sadie Mac. Hi. Who doesn't have her own microphone or her own headphones. So if you hear someone giggling in the background, that's her. Or the cats. Or the cats. Or the cats, or us giggling at the cats. Yeah. I'm voting that the cats should get their own microphones, but somehow I don't think that Mr. Chaos is going to go along with that. I I see that as a route to disaster. It'd be good stuff. Um. You want to tell us where your blog is? Well, my blog is Zythor. It's x i t h o r. dot blogspot. dot com. I am updating it somewhat often, although the month of April was very bad. <laughs> yeah, that April's was, bad. A- April, well, between birthdays and just a general crazy, just didn't happen that much. So this is your second episode today. Yes. Oh, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> oh we they don't, don't need to know that. We don't talk about that. It's just like when uh, it's just like when David Letterman films two episodes in one day. And I am it. so thrilled about the Democratic um, nominee, aren't you? I am. I, mean, I am completely. <laughs> the convention was just awesome. With the Democratic. Although, so unless I'm not, I might be really, really angry about the Democratic nominee. <laughs> Who knew that John Edwards would come out of nowhere and, <laughs> and assassinate Edwards. both of them and win win via via this pure attrition? Oh, he it was wonderful. Me. It was wonderful. Amazing. He was covered in blood. No, no, uh, no, I no, felt great. no, no, no. <laughs> he just he gave what a, a great nice speech. person. I think that it's Bill Richardson because everybody decided, wow, that was a really smart jacket he wore in Portland, Oregon that one day. But white pants. Uh, yeah, but I told you that's an you don't Arizona, wear white pants. Southern yes, California. He did. New Mexico, that whole little southern, area, yeah. you know, west, southern, southern, west, yep. southwest. That's the word I'm looking for. It's a southwest, southwest thing. Where they have things like south, southwestern food. And yes. White pants. And white, white pants, pants Black apparently. Jacks. And where they never, ever wear socks with their sandals. That's yeah. probably Wait a, a positive He wasn't thing. wearing sandals. Come on. No, he was not wearing sandals. But I'm saying in the southwest, I don't believe they wear socks with their sandals. No, it would be much too warm. Mm-hmm. Of course, to I mention. didn't see his feet, so you it's never ugly. know. It's ugly what? to wear. Ugly. Socks with sandals Socks are oh. ugly. Sandals wrong. wrong. Shouldn't happen. She's right. On the last show that we recorded, we had another foot wear faux pas, mm-hmm. where one of my dearly beloved bloggers, my blog wife, admitted that she was wearing Crocs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we- we don't wear Crocs. She's being forgiven only based on the fact that she has some pink boots. Yeah, we had a good boot conversation. Yeah. Like okay. faux dogs. They're like dogs, but they're but not, not dogs. real dogs. And they're pink. And I can go with pink. Pink boots are good. Pink is acceptable, I suppose. Really? Well, yeah. Well, I hate And how I, many pairs of pink boots do you have? <laughs> I used to own a pair of purple Doc Martens, in fact. Ooh. I wore them until they disintegrated. It's true. Huh. He did. Yep, that was many moons ago. Purple? Purple. Yes, he had Yeah, they ones. looked really cool. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did I wore have, like, black lipstick and or? he had purple boots. Uh, um, I I had, I forget what I had for a haircut. I really. didn't, yeah. I, I didn't, I don't, I know what kind of a haircut you had. I did not have the mullet while I had the purple Doc Martens. What was the style? Yeah, yeah you did. No, I did. Yeah, you did. I did yeah, not yeah, get yeah, the purple yeah. Doc Martens until after I was out of high school. And I lost the mullet um, halfway through my senior year. I still got you to admit that you had a mullet. You know that is years. That (laughs) is not exactly secret knowledge. You still need to give me that picture of me in the mullet because I don't have one. I think in order to um, 
to pimp this episode of Strange Love, I'll be using my brother's high school, senior high school mullet photo. <laughs> mullets brought to you by Treasure Okay, no, 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 no. We're not going to treasure the mullets. I am not going to. Oh, come on. No, we're not subjecting Treasure That haircut was not something to be to treasured. To the mullet sponsorship. If you want to expose mullet. your treasures on the web. What better place to do it than exposing your mullets on <laughs> treasurelicious.com? Treasurelicious is not to be used for mullets. You know, at some point they're going to go, just shut up. Don't, don't <laughs> do it anymore. Stop, stop talking, talking about, about us. It. Stop it. You're giving us bad press. Stop it. It's horrible. We get obscene spam all the time. We think it's your fault. Oh, yeah. No, the, the founding, the chicky. I called you a chicky. Ha! Take that. Um, she gets a lot of really awful spam, including some big sausage spam and and German spam. I get no spam. I I get Chinese I use spam. Gmail. Yeah. Gmail, well, it all goes to my all goes, it all goes to my spam filter. Yeah, but when I exactly. go to look at it, because every once in a while I check it, because every once in a while they will call something spam that I actually want. Really? No, not me. Yeah. It yeah. Doesn't, doesn't so much happen to me either. My Gmail yeah. filter is pretty much Gmail, yep. all crap. Um. Flutter once sent me something that went to the spam. And well, gunfire. if she doesn't start her emails with the subject line, enlarge your penis now, I mean, you know. You know. she was just thinking of, of my uh, happiness and my pleasure, mm-hmm. that's all. Sure. She's a good friend. And she wasn't trying to sell you Viagra at all. No. All right. Hey, no. Uh, talking about email, this guy emailed me. Um, he said he was from, he's a lawyer in the U.K., and he's representing someone in Africa, and they have a large sum of money, and they're trying to get something. I don't know. It sounded really cool. Hmm. And, um, I, you know, I, I, I have received those emails as well. Like every day? Yes. Did you give them our money? It's good if you give them our money. Give no, them our money. No, you don't have to give them money. All I have to do is give them my address, my phone number, my bank account for wired. In, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you know, I, I've I've never considered this for myself, but I had considered giving him my former employer's information. But you yeah, know, well, that's just well, me that being suck. an asshole. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, it would be funny. There was actually a good one like that, and it was, it wasn't the banking one, but it was something else, and it seemed like kind of, oh yeah, okay, this seems plausible. And then it was like, give me your name, your address, your phone number. I mean, it was a, it was a, it was a kind of to capture all kinds of marketing data and stuff. Like you're mm-hmm. gullible enough to give them all that info, and mm-hmm. they stick it in the database and then sell the database. So, yeah, that was not nearly geeky enough. We need to do something geeky now. Well, we could go on ad nauseum about the wonderful geeky and you know humanitarian event that we will be taking part in later this year let's go on let's talk about it let's Uh, make people sick all right you go you tell them all about it sadie mac and i are both raving brown coats which are serenity and firefly fans brown what brown coats not brown shirts we are not fascists i always call you the brown <laughs> he, he'll, you know that. You no, know, no, he doesn't do it on purpose. But we'll be we'll be in bed and we'll be talking about something like we do. It's our our talking time, and and he'll be like, oh yeah, how are um, oh I have to I almost said your name. How are Zythor and Sadie Mac, uh, doing with their whole uh, brown shirts thing? <laughs> At which point I, I always say, it. um, yeah, they're not Nazis, baby. <laughs> <laughs> they're just Joss Whedon fans. Uh, so yes, brown coats. It could have been purple. Not coats no, or something. Purple bellies are the bad guys. See, uh, purple bellies are the we once see. This is what you guys <sighs> miss that you don't know. Mike and I once had a very long conversation, going through all the different colors of coats you could have called yourself and why none of those other colors would work. Hmm, that's probably a conversation that's been had throughout this geekdom. Yes, but we're not brown coats, so no, it, it was irrational for us to have that conversation yeah. pepto bismol color <laughs> the coats. pink coats yeah okay the aubergine coats all right so it's brown coats brown coats and what's the web address for this organization you would want to go to pdxbrowncoats.com so if you go there you will find all sorts of wonderful things about us and find links hopefully in the very near future about our 
exciting events coming up on June 20th and 21st. We will be showing a th- three times. Not once. Not once. Not, not twice. twice. But three, three times. Three showings. Including the Friday Night Red Carpet Gala event where we will you know, be bringing people in and we will be having a grand old time. We'll be having some things going on besides the screening, including the Carnival Sideshow and... Maybe the Carnival Sideshow. Okay, well... Definitely Women's Film Initiative. Okay, films. we'll edit that out, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, we, More work for Mr. Chaos. I'm sorry. Um, we'll be showing the movie. We'll be having screenings of things that the Wilm- Women's Film Initiative have, has worked on. And various other bits and bobs and fun for the, well, some for the entire family. Others more adult slanted, but not, you know, dirty. Will there actually be a red carpet? We're hoping for a red carpet. No, there will be but no there red will carpet. Be Scott Alley and Sierra Hahn. Yes, there will be. And Amanda, whatever her name is. Amanda Hug and Kiss? No, not Amanda Hug and Kiss. I like Amanda Hug and Kiss. Yes, well, Scott Alley is... What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that that was... <laughs> the no. Simpsons. He would call the phone at the bar and say, I'm looking for Amanda. Amanda who? Amanda yeah. Hug and Kiss? I need a man. Uh, we, you, Amanda Hugging. You kid. see, I, I gave up on The Simpsons so long ago that I don't even really No, but this was that. back from Did when we I even was mention living what, in California. I mean, what are the screenings? The Simpsons? Oh, oh, yes, I'm that's sorry. right. No, no, no. 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 Let, the, let's go the back screening, to the Brown The screenings coast. are of the film Serenity, which followed the movie Firefly. And... The yeah, show Firefly. The show yeah. Firefly. Durr. Um, and we will be showing that to raise money for Equality Now and for the Women's Film Initiative. And would you like to tell us what Equality Now does? Equality Now is basically it's a women's rights organization. They work on, well, sweetie, what, what, or what do they support? You remember this better than I do. It's a similar model to Amnesty International. They focus on stopping violence against women. So a lot of um, they're heavy in sex trafficking concerns and FGM. Um, and they, yeah, they use an amnesty international thing. So applying international pressure to whatever local government it is or local organization that's doing something particularly harmful to women or a group of women. And the Women's Film Initiative is part of Film Action Oregon, and they, their mission is to put women behind the camera because the numbers of women on the production end of in the film industry is still shockingly low. And so... When the Hollywood Theater agreed to show our screenings, it just seemed like a really natural combination of missions. Awesome. Thank you for remembering all that, because I can never get it down straight. That's why I'm on the board. Yes. (laughs) That's why she's on the board, and I'm just one of the people that shows up and says, woohoo, let's do something fun. Uh Ah, that, that sounds fun. Yeah. Chaos exactly. family motto. Yeah, exactly. Woohoo! Sadie let's Mac, do something fun. Sadie Mac has fun. She just has the, the unfun parts of we it. We make as well. party. <laughs> we make party. <laughs> and violence against women is bad. Yes, violence against women is, <laughs> is bad, bad, but we make party. Well, we on on those two days at the Hollywood Theater, we will indeed be making party. Yeah. Do we have the dates again? June 20th and 21st. So the June 20th is the at red the carpet event at the Theater. Hollywood Theater. Yep. And the 21st is the matinee screening the, the, and then a later screening all as well. Day. All yeah. day. Yeah, all there will be events happening all day. And as more details are available, I'll all have a post about it. All the firefly you can take. <laughs> all the firefly you can handle. That's the I'll, hope. I'll have a post up on my blog about it uh, as the date comes closer. And, and, and as it comes even closer, there'll probably be something in my sidebar for information. Are there other bloggers that are working on this? You know, that's something we could probably do a little bit more of. Oh. Yeah. But, you know, I'll have stuff up I, on mine. I am currently Phoenix Browncoat's webmaster. Oh. Which is really, really funny. PDXBrownCoats.com. <laughs> PDXBrownCoats.com. Right. Me and my skill level. So. <laughs> yeah, there might be bloggers someday next year. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, it, it was sort of placed upon her plate because no one else would or could do it. I thought I heard some local bloggers talking about this, but. 
Undoubtedly, but yeah, yeah I, I think that there's bloggers that are involved and bloggers that like to go, and I just don't think that there's any bloggers excited. that are working on it. I yeah, right. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, there's oh, I know certain some, bloggers that we know that yeah, I think are we're thinking planning on the going. Same. A couple of them. A few of them, yes. Yeah, more I would than hope, one. I would hope many of them. Yes. Yeah, well, I think so, probably. Because we... Yes, we... after the last screening last year, mm-hmm. one of the one of the bloggers in question, Dive Bar Wife, asked me if I had been there. She she thought she saw me from behind. Mm-hmm. But it was several rows up. I and... beg your pardon? Wow. <laughs> 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 uh, Isn't she... that what I told you? Hey, hey. <laughs> Haven't I met you from behind before? Yeah, I don't think that's what she meant <laughs> at all. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Wrong yeah. one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wrong, wrong again. I think that was your um, response. Actually. So, so yeah. And I said, no, but you probably saw my brother somewhere. No. Yes, yes I, I was there the whole time. Mm-hmm. I'll be taking time off from work to be there the whole time again this year. Fantastic. Yes, it should Yet be I fun, still... we hope. What was that, sweetie? All right. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Talk we about we the, raised the money raising. last year we raised fourteen thousand dollars, which was the most of any screening. The screening actually isn't just in Portland; it is an international affair. Mm-hmm. Found- Although it started here, the founder was the one true Bix, another Hi, Bix. another blogger. He's a blogger. Yes, true. He's a blogger. He's not as active as he used to be. He still does furious nads. Although Portland Communicate is unfortunately quite dead. I enjoyed that site very much. But he's still a well-known he is, former blogger. He is still a well-known No, he still blogger. has a blog. Yeah, yeah. F- he has furious nads. I think it's more... Um, it's more personal a, a, reflection. Yeah, personal stream of consciousness kind of. Yeah, and lots of photographs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, My kind of blog. Yes. Yeah. Holly. Yes, Holly. <laughs> actually, no, Holly does Holly, actually put a lot of photographs. Holly, very, very long-winded. Well, no, but she does actually put... <laughs> Nice photographs in there, too, yeah, with does. the editing. So, I, I mean, you know. Yeah. I wish I could find the time to be long-winded. Sometimes most of my posts are rather short and clipped. And here is some information. I hope you laugh at it and learn something or not. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank page. you for coming to my page. Now, please click on something and have fun. I, I des- we make party! Yeah. Party! But, uh, I, I, I desperately need to update because the last... Few- I need my maracas over here. <laughs> exactly. I, now I need percussion instruments. There know, we go. In addition yeah. to you know the keyboards and everything. Yeah. I mean, if that's going to be the new thing that we do on the podcast... Where you make like, the noise. I need to be... Yeah, I'll have to be prepared. Yeah. I'll have... I'll have to have a percussion station. You're gonna be my. Um, so does that mean you're gonna my have guy to... from Emerald? Is it yeah. Doc? Doc Sep? Hell, oh, isn't yeah. his name Doc anyway? There you go. Yeah, yeah. Doc well, Severance. Does, is that... No, does that mean Doc you need Severinson. a bowl of Jello over here to make I'm a sound for, for the lawn dart references? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey! Lawn darts are illegal to manufacture in the United States of America. That's right. Just because they're illegal to manufacture in the United States of America doesn't mean that I can't get my friend up in Washington to manufacture me some lawn darts. Washington is uh, in the United States of America. I notice I did not mention my friend's name. Yeah. (laughs) Washington is in the United States of America. As a matter of fact, Washington is Oregon's Canada. What? No. No, it doesn't. Because because what, Stephen cigarettes Colbert cigarettes and beer more no. expensive no. up there. Stephen um, Colbert said that Oregon was California's Canada. Exactly. So I was just extending it. No. I was just moving it up. What? No, it doesn't work that way. No, it doesn't work that way. Oh well. Ah. Eh. You got to right. do what you got to do. Yep. I think yeah, I think he said it was Washington was Oregon was Washington's Mexico or something too. So. Yes. I, yeah. I he really has a Soft spot in his heart for Oregon, doesn't he? Did he at least pronounce Oregon correctly? I think so. I usually yep. get pretty angry when people don't. Exactly. Yeah. Melanie. Melanie. Actually, Melanie pronounces it properly. She just spells it out phonetically. I know. For other idiots who can't pronounce it properly. I know. Thank you, Melanie. It's cute. Yes. So what else we got? What else we got? Well, let's see. Sci-fi? Sci-fi. There's always science fiction. The exercise program on the radio? The exercise, exercage- program, on the... exercise program on the... Oh, yeah. This... 
Yes, Sadie Mac reminded me of something we heard earlier today on NPR because I usually can't stand to listen to commercial radio at all. Um, there is a group of individuals in, in New York who apparently have taken up the hobby of staging lightsaber fights for health and fun. That oh. sounds like fun to me. You know, it does sound like fun to me, but my God. <laughs> Yes, I was all over it as I she she poked me to make sure I was listening to it while I was dri- driving and I stopped and said, "Yes, I'm listening intently." And, you know, it was, you know, we have a few lightsabers. Um, we, we so have, do we. We have 3. <laughs> How many do you have? I think we have two. What colors? We have a red one and a it's green or blue, I forget. It's buried somewhere because it is broken. Oh, that's very sad. Yeah, it does not work properly. We have a red one. A Darth purple, Vader. Darth, a, yep. a purple one. Uh, 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 that dude. Uh, Mace the guy, Windu. Mace yeah, I was going like to say the guy from Pulp Windu. Fiction, right? <laughs> the guy from Pulp Fiction. It was a guy from Pulp Fiction, man. And a, and a uh, blue don't one. Don't eat pork. And a blue one. Is that Luke or Obi-Wan? One uh, of those dudes. So many people have blue lightsabers. It wasn't even yeah. funny. Um, I see you're futzing with a deck of Star Wars cards. Do, do, do. I, I don't want you to. What? Okay, go ahead. Mm-hmm. I don't have the sound... That sounds That's okay. Go ahead. You, because of the magic of radio, you cannot see these cards. But I'm going to show them to my brother now. Because I'm a tremendous geek. These are our Mike's beautiful original Star Wars cards. Yes, Mike mentioned these to me. Look at them with a the shiny little spotlight. Ago. Aren't those pretty? Oh, yes, Sadie Mac. She, uh, she, she grasps the beauty. Yep, those are the original old school star- 1977 Star Wars cards. Maybe those came out in 78. I don't remember. That's 77. I think 77. they're 77. Yep. Yeah, because... I think they're 77. Yes, they're lovely they and beautiful. They are nice. Do you have a full set of those? or No. Well, that's a shame. A yeah. lot, though. He has a lot, but yeah, not a full I, I set. Yeah, a lot. But there is, there is something we do have a full set of. Let Ooh, me look get at there. All those, look at all them baseball oh, cards yeah, in yeah. the back. We, and this, stickers. And these are all the nerdy ones. Pages upon pages of the Star Wars. I have a full set of stickers. Of yeah, he Star does Wars have Star. a full set of stickers. stickers. Cool. Which actually is worth ones. more, right? The full set of the chase cards. Yeah, the stickers, yes, the stickers, stickers are worth the more. chase cards, so they're going to be worth more. Cool. Yeah. I, yeah, and I knew that right There's off the top of my head. See the beautiful stickers? Yep. That were never to be stuck on anything. R2-D2. And it's sad. Like, it's my instinct. Just like I want to flip up a kilt, I want to stick stickers to things. Yeah. Yep. No. They'll stickers last, are made no. to be stuck. Kilts are meant to be flipped. No. That really... F- flip that back a page. Mm-hmm. That really classic Harrison Ford Han Solo shot. Look at that, sweetie. Oh, Harrison Ford. Mm. That's a great... How book. I love you, Han Solo. That, with, with, with that gun sticking straight up. We can skip David Tennant for the episode if we get to talk. Oh, 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 oh. If we get to talk about how now, hot... Now, who's, who's David Tennant is? Who, who's, who's David Tennant is? What? David Tennant? David Tennant is Doctor Who. Really? <laughs> We don't know anything about I've been Doctor waiting, Who. Like, we know house. nothing about Doctor Who. You don't want to sign the damn at podcast. All. Hey, would it damage these if I scanned them? Oh, they would probably be fine. Because I need to scan this picture of Han Solo. Yeah. He's got that smug, yes, I fucking shot Greedo look Th- on his that's face. That's a mighty fight. Yeah, we have, to, we have to acknowledge that my brother is currently wearing a Han shot oh. first t shirt. Yes. Um, I am. People comment on it all the time. New at Han work. Solo. Uh, I actually took the time to explain to Kay that close encounters that cards in the re- yes Ooh, close encounters little, cards. Oh, it's a little Battlestar Galactica card. Oh, uh huh. With the, the lone fuzzy. Battlestar. The, the lone and, and it is it, while cute and geeky in in one sense, it is rather uh, kind of in a way unfortunate which card it is. <laughs> yes, and alarming. <laughs> is it oh, Starbuck? And, no, and, it's the dog. And oh, that's cool. Planet, Planet of, the of the Apes. Apes. Planet of the Apes. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Planet the of the I love series. you, Charles and Heston. No, the television series. Oh, oh, it's tra- the TV series. A very, no, very Heston. few Red Dwarf. Oh, that's nice. A very, very small amount of Red Dwarf. But I have the complete set of... Uh, the Tick. The Tick. I remember those Tick cards. Yes. I used tick. to have. I used to have some of those. I never had a full set of them. I have a full set. I didn't do anything to get them except uh, be myself and, and a boy gave them to me. A Did boy- he recognize you from behind? Um, that's not an appropriate question to ask me. 
You don't want me to answer that question, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I guess I know the answer. Do you want her to answer that question? Does anyone in the room, can they, anyone in the room actually handle me answering the question? There's about baseball cards. Um, in you're too. pure and virginal as a driven mm. snow. Yeah. On the last episode, we discussed that I was a virgin when I married Mr. Chaos. Yes, you were. <laughs> <laughs> Must keep brain shut. Yes. So no, the the tick cards came to me courtesy of a of a of a friend of mine who also gave me um, a fantastic uh, book of Dr. Seuss art. I'm glad you finished that sentence. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I thought you would you all love gave that me... I finished that sentence. Uh, uh, any number there. of things there. Um, yeah. About five different things that hit in my head, none of them there, which were appropriate. There were I'm also baseball poked. cards in there. Yes, yes there, were, there baseball were baseball cards, cards in, in there. there There's a Nolan Ryan in there. Oh, how early? Uh, I don't know. What are those baseball cards from 1975 or something? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty early. Not rookie. But no. No, no. That would be probably worth a little bit. Oh, so yeah. I have a cat. You Hi, cat. A cat. We're trying to figure out if it's worth something because... They were worth something, but I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know anything about this stuff. Yes. Yeah. Some. I mean, some of those. Some of the. Some of them will probably be worth something. That's another thing that the market has completely just crashed on. Like the comic books that sit in our attic. Really? That are. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, oh. the card cards not so much as the comic books because the comic books. So many of those have been collected in the graphic novels. Mm. That, that price it just kills the prices on them. So really? Now, you said that you were going to be getting rid of your comic books. I weird. am by and large getting rid of. Getting rid are you of getting my rid of your book graphic collection. novels too, or just um, the comic? I got books? rid of some of my graphic novels, but I'm keeping. Stuff like my Hellboys and my Starman and my Transmetropolitan. You know, my what about what about Preacher? Cause uh, Preacher does not go away. Mm. No, Preacher stays. I need to um, finish Sandman my Preacher stays. collection. And I don't. That, We're that having cat a is cat <laughs> technical issues. Yeah. Technical cat. feline issues. He keeps crawling too close to the microphone. Oh, now yes. he's going to attack his his. Companion. No, he's just attacking the floor now. Ah, I see. Well, you know, cats are naturally on LSD at all times. So. Um, our cat is making party. Party. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chaos I was is waving so my hand. <laughs> and now the cat looks confused. <laughs> he really wants some shakers. <laughs> oh, this is um, a beautiful moment. He is. He wants a shaker so badly that he actually got up to go get them. There we go. Okay, we have shakers in hand. Party! Okay, we'll do it. Now we make party! Okay. All right. There you go. Do you feel better now, babe? Yeah, although I lost my cans. There they are. <laughs> For those of you not um, familiar with the technical term cans, we're not talking about my boobs. Mr. Chaos lost his headphones. There we go. But now he's wearing them, so he's found them. The headphones, not the boobs. No, those are hard to lose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our friend Rob used they to are wear stapled boobs. To you. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I remember seeing those photographs. Yeah, that's a great picture. They're probably someone. Google Rob and fake boobs. Yeah, Rob. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find him somewhere. And, or, or, and oh, a transvestite named Rob, probably. Yeah. Yeah, a clown. Oh, Rob. Uh, yeah, Rob yeah, yeah. clown. <laughs> fake boobs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. then you're really getting into something horrible, but. <laughs> yeah, probably, but still. <laughs> Nonetheless, it could be if worth it. If it exists, there's porn for it on the internet. Yeah, yeah. it was, really. It was yeah, scary. Yeah, kind of scary. So what else we got? Do well, we have more, uh, more well, Doctor there, Who? There's always room for Doctor Who. I don't know. We, we, I got this special for this podcast. We covered Doctor Who pretty well earlier. What? It's Supposed to, you're supposed to pretend we have a weekly podcast. We do have a weekly podcast. We just are a little busy today. Yay. This could be that substitute bing, bing, bing. episode for later. Or we could talk about this. <laughs> or we could not <laughs> talk <laughs> about <laughs> that. <laughs> what, it's do you have some song of, from the Peanuts. Do you have some like thing against Charlie Brown? Yes. 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 Actually, I do. What is your problem with with Mr. Brown? My problem, Mr. Brown, is it's the same saccharine crap over and over and over again. So you're not a fan of um, the Great not Pumpkin, so much Charlie a fan Brown? Of the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We well, love the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, in this house. I love it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. And I like Snoopy. 
Oh, Snoopy. The you know, your cousin who's, who's also got a freaking difficult to pronounce screen name. So we just call her Mai. Malachi? She, mm. Malachi? No, it's not Malachi. <laughs> Maliki? Oh, hell Next no. week on Strange Love, the we spend an entire hour. president of Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> we just call her Mai because it's easier. Well, we had to bump for the queen and David thing. Tennant. David Tennant. Hi, we have him strapped up in the basement now. Let me go! <laughs> no. That was the most pathetic attempt to make a David Tennant voice in the history of making attempts to Well, make I figured a, David a really voice. quick, let me go, would be no. enough to just, you know, no. hope that it passed by no. and no one would I'm notice. keeping him very happy. Oh. Uh, Jeez. Holly and Joe brought him to me. Okay, let's try that again. No. no. There. Yeah. Tied up David Tennant. No, yeah. now I'm just causing people to have it erotic flashes yeah let's start discuss having david tennant in my basement any longer oh god we'll be done with that we'll go back to han solo it uh, see there you go it should have got the star wars should have gotten the star wars music i need to anticipate better you need to anticipate our guests geeky whims i I, well i did i put the doctor you did and you you did very well with the doctor who thing did you load up the star wars no although you did really uh, the star trek i mean you did very well and loaded up the star trek before before gunfighter came on that's right oh i i have another sci-fi one though Ooh. i think it's this one 200 no that's no it's not it that is funny i enjoy working with people okay there you go what is it oh you're such a noob you do not know I enjoy working with people. It's really familiar, but can Sadie Mac hear without the headphones? Can she hear what? She'll know occurred? what it is. But she didn't get it's, to it's, hear. It's, 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 Here, hold on a sec. Uh, I know what it is. Oh, I'm not going to say anything. Crap. I enjoy working with people. I know what it is. Okay, somebody tell me. It's one of my favorite characters of all time. Exactly. It's so familiar, I, but I don't, I don't grok it. It's it, it's the computer from 2001. The Dave? Yeah. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I thought I had more samples of him, but apparently I don't. So. Well, that was just anticlimactic. There's great, I know, there's great sound bites. I could have put in the George Bush disc. I didn't think we... Please n- don't. No, no. no. That hurts my heart and brain and stuff. No, I would cry. And spirit and soul and... I would have to look at that John Coltrane poster all the more to make myself feel happy. Yeah, that's a great poster, isn't that it? That is a nice poster. It's a, it's a shame you all can't see um Yeah, the, there's some very the nice basement. posters. Now, I also like that Miles Davis poster yeah, a lot. Yeah, I like that one. That's good, but I really like the Coltrane poster. Yeah, well, that's it getting edited out. <laughs> huh? No, I'm, well, that was. What? We're, what? we're talking about the surrounding of the basement. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. People, the pictures here. people know we're sitting around. I could also tell them about my Wonder Woman postcard. That's yeah. right. And oh. and the the postcard of Elvis shaking Nixon's hand. Yes. Well, yeah, that's yeah. a very important piece of art. Yeah. Very that excited really about that. needs to be put on black velvet. Yeah. To we need really to put up all my my Betty Page up. and my um, Sid Vicious postcards. Oh yeah. Oh. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. I just flashed back to a conversation we had during dinner that we could not finish due <gasps> to a small oh, one being yes. around, discussing the fact that, you know, in the world of Scooby-Doo, Scooby would be long dead by now. Exactly. Yes. He. Uh, he, he now, wait, we need to preface something here. Scooby My daughter, Zethor's niece, loves Scooby-Doo. She has loved Scooby-Doo since the moment she was able to articulate a love of something. She adores Scooby Doo. Um, ill may not be spoken of Scooby Doo because she will hurt you. Although we can talk shit about Scrappy all Yeah, she doesn't like Scrappy because Scrappy peed on Daphne in the movie. So she thinks he's a little bitch. Uh, he is a little bitch. M- my word, not hers. <laughs> she thinks he's a bad puppy. Uh, so we were at the table discussing a large Scooby Doo pillow that she has that she's had since she was very little because she once saw it in the store and from across the room started pointing at it and yelling, Dub Dubby, Dub Dubby, Dub Dubby. So we had to get it for her because, yeah. And if you're going to call Scooby-Doo something other than his name and you're a little kid, <laughs> Dub Dubby seems to work quite well. Dub Dubby. Well, you Scooby-Doo is actually Dub Dubby in Jamaica. Uh-huh. Uh, or, or 
Dub W. Uh, other way around. Dub W is actually means Scooby Doo in Jamaica. So just okay. So anyway, we were discussing. The Scooby-Doo I love would, him, uh, Dub Dub. Yeah, Scooby Doo would be long since terrible. dead. Mm-hmm. And Zethor leaned over to Sadie Mac Zithor. and whispered, nah, "Whatever." My brother leaned over to Sadie <laughs> Mac and said something to her, and I could not hear what it was. Shaggy turned Scooby into a bong. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, you lift up the tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm familiar with where he would put his lips. So this is pretty disturbing. But I was thinking that it would be more like a place to keep his weed. Oh, like a little stash? Yeah, little like stash a box? Open up or something. No, officer. That's just my dead stuffed dog. I don't have a pound of weed in there. Mm. One of our friends taught me how to make the water bong noise using a glass of... Here, I'm out of my water, so I have to... And I... Um, it's been a while. Let me see if I can well. do Hold it. On. You first. Are we talking about what we're drinking? Oh, that, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> that was good. When we were in high school, one of our friends taught us how to make the noise of a water bong using a glass of water in our mouth. Yep. Well, and my, yeah. I, it, I, 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 was it Justin that taught us that? That was indeed Justin. So that mean, well, it was high, <laughs> high school for you, college for me. Thank you, Justin. Um, that was a useful skill you taught us. That was a, yes, that was a useful <laughs> skill. Well, well, Justin and I also, you know, made the bong noise with bongs. So. <laughs> I disavow any knowledge of drug use. Past tense. <laughs> I'm a good boy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Long, long ago. Long, long ago. In California. Where everybody does that. Everyone smoked pot. Everybody spoke pot. Oh, there you Scooby. go. Scooby. Yes, yeah, Scooby Dooby Doo. I'm hungry and I want a burger. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't help it. Next on our geeky agenda. Uh, have you seen Iron Man yet? I have not seen Iron Man yet. I very much plan on seeing Iron Man. Our parents have even seen Iron Man. Our parents have seen Iron they Man. They saw it. Wasn't yesterday opening day? Um, it was technically Thursday night or whatever. Yeah, they saw it yesterday. Our parents actually saw Iron Man before I got a chance to go out and see Iron they Man. They saw it yesterday. Man. Robert Downey Jr. isn't geeky. No, but Iron Man is. Iron Man is very geeky. Oh, but yeah, I am I... Iron Man. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I will go see Iron Man. I will actually see it in a the theater. I have not been to a movie in a theater in a while, actually. I, I'll just go see go. it if it comes to the theater by my house. Well, That's yeah. my criteria for going to see a movie. Yeah. Oh, it's at the theater by my house? Let's go. Excellent. Now, we've got... Uh, one of the nice, big, really loud places not so far from our house. So it's, it's probably playing there now. I haven't bothered. Oh, I'm to sure it is. They have no. lots of movies playing no, but, there. But, but, you know, while, while Iron Man is important and Robert Downey Jr. is a thing of wonder, um, there's another very important geek thing for me coming in a mere month. Do tell. Venture Brothers. Go Team Venture! That's for you, Eric. Yay! Um, now, my um, best friend who I got addicted to the Venture Brothers, you know, we will, like, on occasion, we'll, we will look at each other and do the Venture Brothers V thing up, up. Go Team Venture! The first time we did it was when he helped me replace a taillight on my car. Awesome. And How it, long did that take you? <laughs> it took us about a half hour. Went sh- to us, a half hour, adult men in our 30s. Um, could be worse. Could be worse. Yeah. It, it, I mean, I later changed the opposite light on the car and did it in about four minutes. Well, you be- knew you had I, the methodology. I knew, how to, yeah. I knew how to do it at that point. But um, Eric and I are not exactly what you'd call mechanically inclined. Have you seen the preview video for the Venture Brothers season three? Um, actually, I have not. Oh, um, Banana Leaf Fishbones tweeted it out. She tweeted it. I'll find it and, okay. and uh, send it to uh, you. I would imagine um, if even if for some reason it doesn't work sending it to me, I'm pretty sure I can dig it up on Adult Swim. So It, it wasn't on Adult Swim. Really? That's shocking. By all means, forward me the link yeah, so I'll I can it watch you. it and you know get all giddy. And... I did. I got all giggly and giddy and was just like, yeah, it's coming. Go Team Venture! Coming. Go Team Venture! 
Yeah. And then I was sad that I couldn't talk in a gravelly, gravelly man voice and wear a pink pillbox hat. Because, yeah. I try and I try. I can't do it either. Well, you can do it better than I can. I can do a gravelly voice, but I just can't get that Dr. I try and I try and I try. But nothing's good enough for you, is it? Well, well, that just sounds like a... That was pretty good. Was it? Oh, I'm proud. I yeah, couldn't do it for more than a few seconds, yeah, you, you, though. Yeah, because yeah, it sounds, sounds like it hurt. Yeah, it did. I mean, at first blush, you sounded like a old woman that had been smoking cigarettes all of her life. But then I realized that Dr. Girlfriend on occasion does sound like that. So. Yeah, yeah. I love Dr. Girlfriend. Yeah. You know, um, aside from the fact that, oh, yeah, that apparently I look like Snow White. I also oh, yeah. don't mm-hmm. mind hearing that I look like Dr. Girlfriend. I, I would mind hearing if I sounded like Dr. Girlfriend, but if someone were to tell me, Cammie, nice Dr. Girlfriend look you've got going there, I'd take that as a compliment. Yeah. Actually, I just remember what the cliffhanger... No! 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 Bad robot! Bad helper! We don't do that! We do not eat test tubes! Get here! <laughs> <laughs> not playing games here! Yeah, I I actually just remembered there was a cliffhanger at the end of Venture Brothers season two. Yeah, if uh, if any of you weren't familiar with the noise we just heard, that was Doctor Venture and his robot Helper. Yes. Not my favorite characters on the show, but great but characters nonetheless. Awesome characters on the show. I know, one I, more here. Oh, okay. he's got another one yeah, for let's us. Hear that then. See, look, I got it figured out to get the. Uh, how about I give you my number to my private two-way wrist communicator one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, that's not geeky at all. That's uh, sexy. You know, it, it's it's strange to say, but I actually do not have a favorite character on that show. It's I'm pretty much an equal opportunity mm, geek. I, like, I, uh, I have a favorite character. I like uh, what's his neighbor. The, the Dr. Orpheus. Dr. Orpheus. Dr. Orpheus. Um, I like that guy. The necromancer. Uh, I, I, I did get a kick out of his mentor. Mm-hmm. Dr. Orpheus' mentor. Yes. Who takes the form of various horrible things. I like the, <laughs> what, what is it, the, the, the syndicate or whatever it is that they talk to. The, the Guild of Malicious guild of Intent. Malicious yeah, intent. The, guild. the Guild. The Guild. Yeah. The, the face, you know, behind the screen, and yeah. Actually, you know, we won't I, tell I, you I, who that face is. No, hands down, I know who. Uh, two favorite characters. It's the two henchmen. Yeah, those are my are favorite. The henchmen characters. are great. They're hilarious. I love it when they broke up the thing, and then they had to go to the job fair and everything, and they're looking. <laughs> well, we're henchmen, you know. What's your favorite? I'm going to ask everyone what their favorite episode of Venture Brothers is. Ooh, let's see. My favorite episode of Venture Brothers. That could... Mm. It's, no, I have four or five different episodes just bouncing around in my head. I can't remember... I, I know what it is. I can't remember the name of the episode, uh-huh. but it is the one where Brock goes and has to hunt down his mentor from the agency. That's a good one. That's a good one. And, and, his, and his mentor is basically Hunter S. Thompson. Okay. Hey, wait. Oh, you've got another clip? Okay. Yeah. I am known to men as Dr. Orpheus. <laughs> and mine is to perceive and control the delicate arrangement of the cosmos. They give out PhDs for that? <laughs> Junior College of State, <laughs> communications major, minor in women's studies. But I assure you, sir, the doctor title was bestowed on me by a higher power than a mere college professor. M- much like Dr. Normal's yes. doctor title. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Orpheus. Okay, Sadie Mac, what it was your favorite episode of the Venture Brothers? Well, speaking of Dr. Orpheus, I think it's the first episode of season two where he's wandering around the lair trying to figure out where the souls of the boys are trapped. Uh, oh, uh-huh. yeah. Oh, That's yeah. a great That's, one. I love that one. That's a fantastic the whole, one. The whole mysticism versus creepy science. Mm-hmm. I just love that episode. Mr. Chaos? Uh, th- that was a good one. I like that one. I mean, there, there's just so many. The, every every episode is is a gem. Okay, I mean, re- really, mo- mostly. I'm really if torn you between get hooked two. On the show. I mean, it, no, I'm torn the, between three. I've got three. It, it's so much, three, two, one. We got to describe the show. So the the show is like a um, 
There's no it's description take, for the show. No, you no, have no. to it, see it. It's, well, it's no, a the, takeoff yeah, it's on just, a Saturday morning adventure series involving two boys who, you know, hang out with their scientist dad and go on adventures, yeah. right? And I, I, the model is like, what, Johnny Quest or absolutely, something like absolutely that? Absolutely, Johnny Quest. But it's so twisted and messed up, it's hilarious. Yeah, but it, it, it touches off on so many other different shows in yeah. that vein, too. Well, like when... Um, when Brock Sampson, who's the bodyguard, former three-letter acronym, secret, top secret <laughs> organization, government organization, military. who's their personal bodyguard, goes out in the woods and meets Steve Austin. <laughs> and Sasquatch. And Sasquatch, which is a riff. I mean, if you ever watch the so I entire tell, Bionic Man I series, tell, you I think knew my, what that was all about. My third from my favorite, number three would be um, the one... Where uh, they have the boys hanging upside down, and the testicular torsion. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> number two, Comedy gold. Number two would be the courtroom episode. <laughs> yeah. And my my very that was good. Yeah, my very favorite episode is Tag Sale. You're it. Oh, that oh, was a yeah, good one. Oh, yeah, that was fantastic. Apparently, this is the reward I get for years of screwing with super science. <laughs> In short, I pissed in God's eye, and he blinked. All right. And that's Dr. Rusty Venture. Yes. Russ. Well, I like Rusty. it when his dad comes back. There was a great episode where uh, his his dad, who was actually really the super scientist. Um, yeah, yeah, that should it, be it, noted that Dr. Venture has been living it, for years made, off of his father's yeah, reputation. Yeah, yeah, so Dr. Venture, the father, actually lives off, exactly, off his father's inventions. And one day a grand space station that his father had designed and invented – um, uh, apparently a red light goes off there and so they have to fly to the space station to figure out how to fix it very very funny episode. episode especially when Brock Sampson has sex with the ugly chick who doesn't Brock have <laughs> sex with <laughs> we had a little bit of technical difficulty um, just a little bit <laughs> Mr. Chaos's fancy recording device decided that it doesn't like us doesn't like podcasts it says podcasts you suck and i don't want to record you anymore and so we're going with uh, another form of recording technology live off the board mix so if it sounds a little bit different now hey 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 well it was we're a, live it is a venture industries product so you we're can kind of get what you live. expect I said that we were live, and I'm Apparently, lying. this is the reward I get for years of screwing with super science. Exactly. In short, I pissed in God's eye, and he blinked. Pretty much, yes. Yes, Mr. Chaos pissed in the technology god's eye, and the technology god turned off our podcast. But we're back. Well, the god of the <laughs> internet is a fickle bitch that speaks in very annoying uh, little speak. Oh, no, what? Okay, in, in our constant Venture Brothers love. Sweetie, isn't that the guy from Depeche Mode? Oh, no, wait, where? <laughs> Holy crap, he's with a girl. Oh, yeah, that guy is totally straight. I saw a whole thing about him on the VH1. But he's the guy from Depeche Mode. It's impossible. Straight. Come on, he's in Depeche Mode. <laughs> <laughs> That I, I, was Dr. Girlfriend and the Monarch. Yeah, I, I do like the Monarch. I do like that whole Monarch. So that was Dr. Girlfriend. The Yeah, the manlier sounding of the two was Dr. Girlfriend. Pretty much yeah. is drawn like Jackie O with the pillbox hat. Jackie stuff. O, a tight Jackie O. And has that mm -hmm. voice. Yeah. So sweet stuff. Very nice. Dr. Indeed. Girlfriend is interesting. Yes. Yeah, have we? They have never explained why she has the voice she does, right? Oh, well, actually, they have. Oh, did they? Yeah, oh, not in me. the show, but in a. Okay, don't tell me. Unless we'll, I'm we'll, wrong, we'll discuss this later. Yes. This could turn out to be one of those lawn darts are illegal to manufacture. Meanwhile, in the we make party. <laughs> we all need shakers. Yeah, that was anticlimactic too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can play more Doctor Who music. No, that's okay. Yeah, I think we're. Oh, hello. <laughs> I've been snuggled. Oh no, not the snuggling. Um. Yeah, I think I think we should choose one more geeky subject, and then I think we should, you know, go to our respective homes and sleep. Wrap it up so that I can go upstairs and watch Friday's episode of of Doctor Who. <laughs> well. 
Well, sorry, I missed the cue. Oh, Ooh, what I was see. That? I see why Sadie Mac is okay. She's got her little in Nintendo DS over there. She's playing oh, video games I, while we Nintendo. talk. Nintendo. Yeah. Were you really playing video games while we were talking? Yes. No, no I'm bless I'm your heart. She's now asleep. I'm just gonna run out before I get to battle. Um, oh. <laughs> well, when it's closed, it's pretty. It's pretty efficient at keeping yeah, things down. Unlike your laptop. Do you want to know what I'm playing? What are you playing? I'm playing Pokemon. But you're not 12. I know. No, she's not. You're not a prepubescent but, boy. But she enjoys the Pokemon. That's the, the cards or the boys. Oh, okay. The girls play the, girls in just as large numbers play the video game. Okay. So I have a question. When my brother, what Zythor. What the fuck is Pokemon? Oh. When my brother, Zythor, recommended recently that I procure a Nintendo DS for my own devious needs, there was a game that he recommended. Professor, Something Professor Lightning's mysterious. Yeah, Professor Lightning in the Mysterious Village, I believe, is what the title of the game it's is. Awesome, it's fantastic. But it's short. It's expensive yeah. for how long it plays. That is true. It would take me forever to finish it, even if it is short. That's true because you're being inter interrupted a lot. Yeah. It's, so. It took me months to finish the My Sims on the Wii. Mm. Oh, this would be shorter. Hmm. Much. Yeah, it's um, it took Sadie Mac and her mom. Um, about 14 hours or so to beat it. Wow. That's just a play time. Yeah. That, yeah. Well, no, I know. <laughs> yeah. So and and it's and for, for, for $35, and maybe it's a little short. It's not like a, it's not as short as um, Ace, um, Ace Phoenix or Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. That so was shockingly I, short. Couldn't I go find it at like the used video game store it's though? It's pretty new. Yeah, oh. um, give it a couple of months, you'll probably find it used. Well, it'll be a while before I ever get a DS anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, and you know, and you may, you may, maybe, you, know, you can find it used online mm -hmm. rather than at a video game store. But yeah. I'll just wait a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just wait a little bit. You'll find it. Yes. You know, it was a really enjoyable game. You know, Sadie Mac is the plays much more of the handheld video games than I do, and we got rid of all but our GameCube of the consoles because we were not playing them anymore. We only have one game. Oh my Jesus! Sorry about that. Sweet Mister Chaos needs to warn us before he blasts the Venture Brothers in our ears. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I was just getting that, ready for something else. That was the beginning of the uh, Venture yeah, Brothers. Yep. Theme song. So anyway, yes, the we only have the one video game system. We only have the one, the only one that we need. The Wii. Mm -hmm. The Wii. The Wii. Yes, we will someday have a Wii. But just. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you have a problem with the discussion of the Wii, Mister Chaos? No. I, okay. I'm okay. Yeah. So I, it should be known that our, our fact, mom and dad got a Wii. I make party. Our mom and dad got a Wii before you too. Yes. Yes, they and, ha, they and mom some, has already beaten my Sims. That's impressive. Well, they have something that we like to call <laughs> disposable income. Well, they also have time. They have time, time, and their grandchild is, you know, half many, the country many, away, many miles and, away, and uh, it snows there, and they can't leave the house. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's dad's only opportunity to play golf in the winter. Yeah, got to have your golf. I think you got the Tiger Woods golf game too. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's the most discussive sports. Uh, sports talk. I'm sorry. Are we keeping you up? <laughs> the sports talk makes me sleepy. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, if I figure if if Dad can play golf and then have the Tiger Woods golf game, I can play Dungeons and Dragons and then you know have Fable or whatever to hack and slash away at. So. I don't know what Fable is. Oh, it was a, it was an it was an Xbox game that you play a person going through a grand adventure throughout the realm and mm -hmm. you can choose to be good or evil blah, do you know what i blah, miss blah, blah. i miss this game that we used to play on the playstation back when dave and i had an apartment just down the street from where i live now what was the game with the i swear it caused my tendonitis tekken was it tekken what? with the two fighting and the chick and there was nina the fighting chick that i believe was tekken god tekken was awesome it was probably tekken 2 at I that point loved Tekken. If I could still have Tekken, I totally would play it. Although, like I said, I think it single-handedly you know, caused my tendonitis. I, I, I have. I used to be pretty good at those games. I've discovered as I and I've stopped playing them 
because I've discovered as I've gotten older that I'm not fast enough to play them anymore. No. You know, I, I can still do platform games, but quick button masher, quick button pressers where you need to press out A, B, B, A, oh, see, up, down, here's the side. Deal. Uh, screw it. This was <laughs> the died. secret. This is how I was so good at Tekken. There were all those amazing key combinations that would make them do super powerful things, and you had to know the exact key combinations to make them do it. I didn't know any of that shit. I just pushed a lot of buttons until the thing did something and killed the other person. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, and that's how I got good at it. And it worked a well, lot. That was that was a good that was a good strategy. Thank you. Yes, yes it worked very well. Yeah. That's how I always play combat games. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and she doesn't do so bad. Yeah, it's a good strategy. People think it's silly, but it's a good strategy. Just push stuff. Something will happen. Exactly. Eventually, the other person's carefully timed strategy will not work against random. Yep. And now. I have put Mr. Chaos to sleep with my video game Psycho Babble. You should mention the Red yeah. Sox. Yeah. Um, Sadie Mac is reminding me that I should mention the Red Sox. You don't like the Red Sox. Oh, um, no. I'm I'm wearing a Boston <laughs> Red Sox hat right this moment. I thought that and, was a and, have uh, a... and have a poppy jersey hanging on the back of I the thought bed that was for a, no reason uh, whatsoever. I thought the, the B was for... Brown Cup. Brown coats, very good, very good, Sadie no, Mac. No, no, good, good save, babe. Um, no, I, I, it's it's Boston Red Sox. I am a raving Boston Red Sox fan. It's true. Bef- you know, I was a fan before they started winning World Series. I felt the pain. Hmm. <laughs> so, so there. He liked them when they were still losers. I liked them when they were still losing. As they will be again. Don't worry, sweetie. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. I always liked Sadie Mac. <laughs> well, you know, there are reasons that I've there, always liked Sadie reason, Mac. Well, there are lots of reasons to like Sadie. Mac. Yeah, but that's one of them. That's one of them, <laughs> right there. <laughs> she tells it like it is, yes, folks. She does. Mr. She's a good person. Mr. Chaos is just staring at us. Well, we aren't being nearly as entertaining as we were a moment ago. I feel like. <laughs> something something loud probably he has buttons and he's going to push them let's see what happens this could be the out music for our show today I think maybe it should be the out music there we go. for our show today it's getting very late idea. although notice this time we're actually playing the whole thing rather than four seconds and shit sorry Okay, everybody. What? Sweet dreams. Good night. Good night. Enjoy the Venture Brothers in music for you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. Fiesta! We make party! Okay, we're at the good night now. Good night. Good night. Go Team Venture!